Nah. Good morning. I jinxed it. I jinxed it. Just kidding. Can't actually jinx things. I hope. <laughs> well, I'm feeling rather meh today. They should have given me that PHQ-9 questionnaire today because I would have scored higher. Oh, so I'm wondering if this is what the dip is. I've talked about that in a couple of my previous videos. They say going through TMS, you can experience a dip at some point in the treatment. I'm going to ask about that today when I get in there. Uh, I'm just feeling blah. I didn't sleep that well and I have a headache and life has a little bit less meaning to it today. Um, so I, you know, I'm human, right? I can't have a great day every single day because that was just getting to be too, like, I didn't know what to do with it. <laughs> like I said, <sighs> anyhow, yeah, I'm going to ask about it and let you guys know about it. Um, I hope that you're finding these videos helpful so far. If you are, please subscribe and please comment below with any questions you have. I'm trying to get this information out there to help other people who might be depressed and might be looking for treatments if medication has failed them. So if you subscribe, YouTube notices and they're like, hey, it's valuable content and they push it out there. So you could really help with that and I would appreciate it. I think the purpose of today's video really is just going to be finding out about the TMS dip. And then once I find out a little bit more about that, I'm going to spend some time researching it over the next few days and see how the next few days progress. And then I will talk about it a lot in the video upcoming over the weekend. So thanks again for tuning in and I will see you guys after the session and talk to you about it. Okay. Bye. Hey, seems like I have been coming out with lots of helpful information. I got this lovely handout about what is the TMS dip? What should I do if I'm experiencing a dip? So I uh, read this while I was in there and I definitely want to do more research on it. Um, the tech explained the whole dip thing to me. I know I've mentioned it to you in a few previous videos. I'm not really sure yet if I'm experiencing the dip. I could just be having a not great day, which let's face it, it's going to happen. That's called life. The question is, is this part of a dip or just a day? So we will see. I will, in my weekend roundup that I do of week three, I'm going to talk a lot about the dip. So make sure you look out for that video uh, that I'll do in the next few days after I've gone through the rest of this week and sort of see where my mood is at. They can say during week two and three that people will experience a dip. It's a leveling out and... There's lots of really useful information about how neural pathways are being formed and what they do and what they don't do. I'm going to explain all that a little bit as we go this week, but really in detail this weekend. So I'm going to go back home and brush my hair <laughs> and change out of my pajama top, which is a cat sweater and practice. And I'll catch you in the next video tomorrow. We shall see. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.